hi guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in my name is Mutorayo. welcome back to movie on youtube to the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back and to the new subscribers you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome thank you so much for subscribing and for watching this video and for those that are yet to subscribe that you're watching this video and is yet to subscribe please guys kindly subscribe so basically today I'm going to explain the drama that's going on between Linda Ikeji and Caroline. Because people do not really understand what's going on between Linda Ikeji and Caroline. So I'm basically going to break it down, give you some little backstories, give you what's been going on right now, and dear response. So if you really want to understand the entire juice drama excitement the buzz was going on y'all need to stay back and enjoy this video now let's get right into this video now who is linda the linda 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 we've been hearing in episode three uh linda is Laura's sister, Linda Ikeji, that's her name. So she's Laura Ikeji Kano's sister. She's um Linda is 41. So Linda is um Laura's elder sister. And Linda is a blogger. She owns a blog. She's been one of the you know oldest bloggers. She's been blogging for like 16 years. That's Laura Ikeji. She's a blogger. She owns Laura Ikeji's blog and Laura Ikeji's TV. So y'all can check her out. She's on Instagram. She, you know, you can check out her blog and you see what she does. So that's who Linda Ikeji is. Now let me now break down the entire drama because some people don't really understand the backstory, what exactly is going on, what happened. You know, so we don't even understand. Now, let me break this down to you. So, we all know that Caroline was married to this billionaire business mogul called Musa Danjuma. Danjuma is one of the richest people in Nigeria. Even, I think their wealth is even, you know, they are wealthier. Some people say they are wealthier than, you know, Dangote's family. But, you know, Dan um, Danjuma is one of the richest people in Nigeria. So, is a billionaire his name is musa um Danjuma. and i think according to caroline eh, linda said um stuff about a marriage stuff about a kid i'm going to break it down but let me just please them stuff about a daughter and stuff about her age so now if you go if you guys pick up your phone right now i want you guys to pick up your phone right now and google Caroline Danjuma's age. What is Wikipedia bringing out to you? I personally googled it. Caroline Danjuma's age. If you bring it out, Wikipedia will tell you she's 41. Yeah? Google that. Check. No. Guys, I want you to please pause this video and Google that right now. It's going to bring out 41. So, apparently, she said that Caroline said that, oh, Linda, you know, said. Caroline was lying about her age. And Caroline had to reach out to Linda with proof that, no, I am not lying about my age. I'm actually 34. Yeah, Caroline says she's actually 34. And do you guys know that Caroline has three kids, actually? Two boys and one girl with Musa Danjo. David, Solomon, and then Elizabeth. Now, currently, Danjuma is 67 years old, currently. So basically, they have an age up of 33 years. And you know what society normally says? And Linda blogged about that. Oh, you know, she definitely did not marry for the money. I mean, for the love. She married him for the money. And can't you see you, you the, 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 the age gap? And yeah, I can understand. You know, she's a blogger. She shouldn't have tweeted that, but let's not lie. Bloggers always look for G something to talk about or post about and all of those things. But Caroline says she reached out to Linda and told, you know, Linda to please take it down and all of those things. But Linda ignored her. Yeah. So now, firstly, she ignored her about the age thing. 
she ignored her about her and her husband's age gap and the last one i think this is one that really really pissed caroline off the most she talked about her daughter she talked about how elizabeth is not a dan Juma. and i think that was what pain her the most because you can see in episode three she went on and on and on about her daughter that oh did you know what i went through i've always wanted a daughter i've always prayed for a daughter i finally got a daughter and i got to know that she has two holes in her heart and you know i went through a lot during that period and that was the same period linda was writing about her daughter not being a danjuma so i can understand where caroline is coming from but the one that you know i feel like you know i don't know if they have if linda and caroline have like a personal relationship but caroline said she reached out to linda with proof of you know she is a danjuma you guys should stop saying stuff like this and linda ignored her again yeah so that was what you know pissed her off according to caroline so the last thing um um linda talked about was also the infidelity the che her husband cheating and her husband's infidelity and all of those things now guys mind you um musa danjuma married um caroline um basically caroline is musa danjuma's fifth marriage you know he has done the first he has done the second he has done the fourth third he has done the fourth so she is a fifth marriage and according to caroline when they started when they when they met he had already gotten divorced four years ago basically he has gotten divorced to his fourth wife four years ago so he wasn't a married man he was very much single when they got married um according to caroline so they basically got married in october 2007 and they filed for the divorce she filed for the divorce actually in september 2016 so basically we're married for 10 years after all of the you know everything that um caroline said um to 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 laura she eventually said oh really she did not know that all of this was done or any of this happened the the post the blog the um she reaching out to Laura and linda she didn't know any of this she was just clueless and she had no idea any of this happened back then and she was like okay she apologized she apologized immediately because you know she said oh well, because she talked about her daughter and all of those things and she apologized and she was like you know what I'll speak with linda and you know we'll just talk about everything in a blog once some time ago um caroline said and i quote all men cheat but she feels like her husband should have had a limit which is philandering she claimed that she continued to stay because of the love she had for him she continued to forgive her husband loved him unconditionally she tried to avoid any form of confrontation with all of Musa's concubines, except on one occasion when she was being threatened by one of them. She says she tried and never wanted to give up on the marriage, but it was just too hard. It just couldn't work out as she expected, and she had to let it go. So guys, you know, I remember her saying, do you think it's easy to go through divorce? Do you think I was happy? You know leaving my husband and all of that yeah caroline said that and i'm sure it's not easy going through whatever you're going through in, in your life now having a blog or you know someone say some stories publicly to the whole world about everything that is happening i can imagine i can only imagine what caroline must have gone through or felt that moment i feel like she bottled it up she obviously, I feel like she had no way to say all of these things to Linda. And that probably gave her like an avenue, you know, to say it to Laura and say it, you know, in front of, on the show. So the whole world that read all of those things, um, the people that read all of those things and more will watch and understand and listen to her own side of the story. She, yeah, she must have gone through so much 
I don't, I can only just imagine. And she just needed to speak it out. And I feel like that's what Caroline did. And you can tell she was so odd. Now, the drama continued though. Hmm. Both of them, Laura posted something and Linda posted something on a um, blog um, page on Instagram. And on a blog also, Linda Ekeji took to Instagram and said all this. Dear Caroline, your bold face lies are hilarious and probably does not deserve a response, but we will address you one last time. These stories you claim we wrote about you, where is it on the internet? A blogger would write that you are a gold digger and married your forefathers. Lord, you're hilarious. Not only did Linda Keji blog write anything like this, no other blog did. Where is the record of these stories online? You say we deleted them. How? From our blog and all of the blogs that would have carried the story from us. Nobody has the power to completely scrub out a story online. Do you own Google? You also said we gave a platform to your ex-husband's mistresses to troll you. And we wrote articles in defense of these mistresses. Lord, please make this make sense. Who are your ex-husband's mistresses? We are supposed to know them. Where are these articles? The most you can claim is that you read these as comments on blogs. And it hurt your feeling, and you directed your anger towards the owner of the platform, hearing Linda Ikeji, which, to be honest, is understandable. Now, to your papers from your lawyers years ago, we did a light hearted story comparing your former body to a more rounded and fuller body. We even called you gorgeous. Where is the malice in that? Doing your body up is not a bad thing. Most ladies have and or want to do it, even Linda herself. And to your screen grab, this is not our blog or style of writing. And all and every story about late Tagbu and yourself on blog was long after your marriage had ended. And we never, ever put your daughter and him in the same article. Please stop the lies and take responsibility of your own action and decision. We've been blogging for nearly 16 years and we plan to be around for 200 more years like many news agencies. Peace and love to everyone, especially to those who need it. Y'all can see the um, legal papers Caroline served Linda. It says false and defamatory posts and comment against Mrs. Caroline Hutchins on Linda Engage's blog. You can see the legal papers that Caroline served Linda on the screen right now. So Caroline in 2027 said this, I have woken up to see all sorts of allegations and it's really laughable because the whole idea is to divert the attention from the questions I am asking about what happened to Tabo. I will address this once and for all. Number one, I met Tabo when I was legally divorced and out of my ex house to start a new life. Yes. We were dating. My daughter is three years old and I only met Tabo last year. So it's not possible that Tabo is the father of Elizabeth. The person who posted that information claims to have Tabo's phone. He went to DNA with Baba. Who is Baba? Let us leave sentiment aside. Trying to blackmail me to keep quiet will not work or change anything. We need justice for Tabo. No one is accusing anyone of being a murderer, but we need to know what happened and why everyone is quiet. My anger is that he was abandoned by those supposed to be his friends and brothers. Davido and Tabo were really close, and I am angry with Davido for keeping quiet. Those who drink tequila should come out and confirm if 30 shots of tequila is strong enough to kill. Stop protecting whoever is guilty. Someone is dead, please. This lady asking us how we know Tagbo was your lover because you did an exclusive full-length interview with SDK in 2017 admitting you guys were dating and all that for many days in several posts asking how we died suddenly while out with friends didn't he even mention the drama in his song? In your interview you claimed the person who mentioned the paternity thing was someone who had Tagbo's phone and you are talking now as if we wrote this about you. 
You owe us an apology, but we don't need it. Why would we delete a story about an autopsy? Because of what? We are scared of Caroline Danjuma. Lol. Meanwhile, all these stories about Tabo was long after your marriage had ended. At least two years after. You can fool some gullible people, but you can't fool everyone. Love and light. Hmm. More drama. Oh. Laura decided to reply. She made a post on Instagram as well. I read also. This morning, I woke up a little sad when I saw Linda Cage's blog official statement refuting the claims Caroline made. I should have told you Caroline was lying yesterday, but I didn't want to escalate anything really. I knew Caroline was off all through the night, but I refused to cut her or talk back. Not because I couldn't defend my family, but she was talking about a child. Children are off limits for me. I asked my sister about these stories and we googled them, but nothing came up. You guys need to know Caroline. <laughs> Lol. I can't say anything about this show because, of course, I signed a contract, but it will all make sense soon. And Linda said this as well on her Instagram. Just to set the record straight, because people like to believe these things, especially when a celebrity makes the claim. In its 16 years of blogging, Linda Ikeji blog never ever wrote about Caroline Danjuma's daughter is not for her husband. Not only did it in Linda Ikeji blog write this, no other blog in Nigeria or beyond wrote this. If this was a story written by Linda Ikeji's blog, a lot of other blogs would have carried it. There is no such story online on the thousands of blogs that exist in Nigeria. This is a story that was never written about Caroline Danjuma. It doesn't exist, period. Feel free to Google. This story was completely made up by Caroline Danjuma, or she could have seen it as a comment made by an anonymous commenters on Linda Cage's blog or any other blog. But this story was never written by her. Other than calling her daughter adorable, we never wrote anything else about her. Yes, we did write about Caroline's age controversy when she came up some years ago to claim she was 27. Many people didn't believe her, and that was the angle of our story. It wasn't written with malice. Two things that we want to make clear. Everyone who knows Caroline Dajima knows she blames everyone else for the demise of her marriage. It's never her fault or the fault of her ex. Even in this so-called reality show, another cast member said she lied when she said Linda Ikeji's blog contributed to the end of her marriage and mentioned another cast member who Caroline asked for years blamed for the end of her marriage. We hope the show airs that episode. Hmm, interesting. It was only recently in a post on Instagram in 2022 that Caroline finally blamed herself for the end of her marriage. Secondly, Caroline has told everyone that cares to listen that she adores and respects Linda Ikeji and doesn't understand why Linda doesn't like her. Linda has absolutely nothing against Caroline Danjuma. She just doesn't know her. Finally, we asked Caroline to please screen grab the page where Linda Ikeji blog or any other blog in Nigeria. And I wrote that our daughter is in for our husband. It's news to everyone today because it was never written. Hmm, plenty of drama. Oh. So do you guys now understand all of the backstory and everything that is going on? For those that have been asking me in the comment section, oh, I don't really understand the, this entire story and all of those things. Yes, this video, I don't want it to get too long. So let me just stop right here because I've read so much of the, the messages and everything, the caption and everything they said. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed this. And I really do hope you understand a little bit more about what's going on. If you have any other questions, I can, you know, let me know in the comment section. Then I'll record a video containing that answer. Please do not forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and I'll keep liking and replying your messages. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy this. And until next time, I remain Motoraya of Mobile on YouTube. Bye-bye, guys.